Hey everyone, welcome back. Let's go. Check the camera. Is he gonna check the pictures? Nope. Oh, yes she is. Cute. Air rescue service, Conwyn Island. So it was a rescue plane. Those are some cool pictures, though. It's so great to have. That's it. Okay. Let's go check below deck. Can she check that little corner? I love those yeah, little jeans that she's wearing. Too dangerous for That's the bullet. Hey, this is so awesome. Got the pad yet? Oh no, not yet. I got distracted. I got distracted. I was looking at the bullet. Got it. Let's go up. What was that? Come here, you vixen. <laughs> Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. Uh, no beer for the dude. Yeah. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Hmm. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So that's what they what found think, on the plane? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. You find anything else? A couple hours from there here? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Hmm. From the photos Alex took, you can see the flight badge on one of the corpses. That means the crew is from the Conwyn Island, smack dab in the middle of the Pacific Theater. Called it. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been yeah. this already. I'm not we destroyed the, the entire thing. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. <sighs> Maybe. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Okay. Maybe. I don't know you. I feel bad though Never destroying the whole thing plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like it a has an essence. Right to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred you got a fun ghost story, right? Oh, no one's taking yeah, her seriously. Yeah, I heard a story. Uh, happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay. Here goes. Oh, this is a nice this shot. This story is true. It had happened right near here. In an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait. True story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, <laughs> skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards, and for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear waves pounding the rocky shore. That was weird. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman. Covered in blood. It seems so choppy She's stumbling sometimes. down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Hmm. <laughs> On track mind. 
He of the one-track mind. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splay down on the there. floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. Giblets? Mm. So gross. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here in the closet. What? Huh. The husband, eh? <laughs> So is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseats. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, <coughs> opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. It's his. Closer. Closer. And he sees. It's his own Yeah. Face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, so ah, gross. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Cool story. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. <laughs> okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. Ooh, that lightning. I would be looking at that lightning. Get some slow-mo shots. Oh, so close! Scary shit. Duke of Milan? Milan? Is that how you say that? The fisherman. No! They're back. Are they here for to steal money? Because they saw the dude throwing it. This fucking creepy. Are they wearing masks? I'm a super light sleeper. I would immediately be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> yes! Fight him, bro. Ah, oh, too bad. What the fuck? I did not expect this. <gasps> I have a tiny knife. I'm not afraid to use it. Oh, well, I gave it a good shot. Hit the dude in the face. Mm. Yep, it's the fisherman dude. Honestly, I was going for the dude because he seems stronger, so... He could probably, like, beat him up. Hmm. 
Okay. So you, you okay? I think so. Hmm, he has blood on his face. Oh, from because I hit him with the bottle. What are they gonna do to her? Uh, almost free. Yes, nimble girl. Hey, so uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh God damn it, Conrad! Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, <laughs> Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? I don't fucking know. Hurry. They were gonna kill us. They would have done it already. Yeah, they would have killed us in our sleep. About being killed. Untie first, so we can fight. Guys, we gotta get untied. Right now. <laughs> Shit. Let her do it. She has her hands up front. Fight! Fight! Kick him! Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. I am the captain Let's now. The most of you can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. Yes, please. Aw, oh, no QT for that one. I'm ready. Come on, let me do something. Hmm, what do you want? What do you fuckers want? Shit. Slow down. Easy. Stop. Please. Just stop, man. We finish with it later. Hmm. What was the point of bringing me out here then? Just to beat me up a little? Little man. Okay. Let's play nice. Okay. Okay. <gasps> hide it, hide it. We're coming back. Hide it. Yes. Push him in. We're gonna get him. Oh, Jesus, Conrad. Okay, let's get free. Or not. Wait, no! Alex! Stop it! Let her go! You no, don't! Don't knock! You're gonna give it away! Hey. stick. Shut the fuck up. Wait, you, can't you just open the door? Actually, <laughs> I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with them. Uh, did you see my brother? No, I didn't. No, but I'm, I'm sure he's fine. He's got I forgot about him. Money or something. All right. Around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. Fuck, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wait, there's the, the curator. He was in the background. He was standing there with this whole hat and suit. Hey, hey, are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. Because you're throwing Does your money around. They took my ring. Julia, it's okay. It's okay. Get a new one, that's fine. As long as you're okay. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. <sighs> it's just because the dude showed off his money, man. Are you counting the frames because the frame rate's lagging? <laughs> Storm's eight miles away. We came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy here. He's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. Hmm. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. Can you navigate though? Do you know which way to go? Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. What did I do it, guy? Didn't I do it, right? We can overtake him, though. It's just three dudes. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. I was thinking about this. Knife. Did I do it? Oh my god, I think I just barely made it. Drop it, Buster. Give it to her. It's amateur hour over here. Fliss, I got this. Let me handle it. Ah, oh, shit. How did you do that? Shit. Think about what you're doing, boy. Boat! Just get to the boat! This kid's trying to kill me, old son. Oh. Uh, I don't trust that I should get to the boat. Did I make it? Oh, fuck. Ah! Oh, shit. That was so quick. How am I supposed to dodge a bullet? No! Did he die? Shit. My first victim. Fuck. <sighs> I did so well with the QTEs. Sit down. Think Over he there. died? Where did I get hit? Right here. Sit. Now. Where the fuck is Brad? Stop! Ferme la. Ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. Shit. Olsen! Come here!
which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo? <laughs> well, he has the coordinates on the paper. Just let us go. Think Conrad's dead or just knocked out? Maybe he comes back later. Man, I pressed triangle, but it was so quick. I just didn't make it in time. Connie can take care of himself. All right, shut the fuck up. There is no harm in just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say, okay. Fliss has got to be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's Dude, the and they barely laid a hand on her. The fuck are you talking about? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Cahoots? How dare you? Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? You're all in this together. This is a trap, and you set us there up. Yeah, asshole. Put a cork in it. Oops. Sit still. Almost didn't Warrior. make it. You come with me. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Can I just check anything, the radar? Anything fishy. And there'll be consequences. Milan requesting weather update. Over. Do we read you? Everything okay? Over. How bad's the storm? Uh, hey, I'm so scared uh, now. Just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. It's gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. Okay. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. Hmm. Nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A okay out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Okay, so we're out here for a couple days. That was the planning. The plan. <laughs> Jesus. We should be down below. Keep those hands tight to that thing. Wait. Oh, can you knock him overboard? Help them. Hey, move it. Okay. Now. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? I don't know where he is. Yeah, where the fuck did he go? Is he just hiding under the bed? Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. <laughs> she Brad says as she shouts to the other side. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Where the fuck did Brad go? It's still floating! Oh my god! I thought it would be on the bottom of the sea! <laughs> oh. 
Oh, that was that one dude that, that dropped on it. He's been there all this time. Damn. Fuck, did I get Conrad killed? I hope not. Well, you seem to have already suffered a casualty. That was a bold move. Not smart, but bold. Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? A little bit, yeah. Curious. <laughs> okay then, we will turn <laughs> to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Okay. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. <laughs> yes. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. So Conrad's maybe not dead yet? <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. He's so cool. I like him. God, I really hope Conrad's not dead. It seemed like he had a shoulder wound. I don't think he would die of that immediately like he did. He maybe just passed out from shock. I'm just really hopeful. If not, I can save him in a later playthrough. La porte! La porte! Vite! La porte! Are you gonna try and get on? Such a bad idea, dude. Junior, you retire the head to the image. What's that? Oh, so that the ship doesn't work anymore? Go. So now that they're stuck there. God, she's barefoot. Sucks, girl. Are they all barefoot? Oh my god, they are. Someone's gonna step into something. I'm calling it now. Wait, she went in first. Why is she last? Oh, so fucking cool! Can you imagine finding that? <sighs> awesome. to read that. Can't wait for you all to die. This whole place is a floating death trap. Keep moving. Okay. No, my bracelet! Where's Brad? The fuck? Get back. 
Sorry, camera angle changed. Couldn't help it. The mask of madness now showing. I did not sign up for a trip to creep down. This looks great. This is the until dawn I'm used to. What's that? I want it. Miller. What are these guys gonna do with us now? God, this is fucking great. I'm so happy this game is out. <laughs> what? Oh shit! How can rats be still alive after 50 years on a ship? Is there really that much food to find? Osan, you're in port to see. Okay, all of you, into the room. Okay. Quick loading screens. Hey! It's pitch black in here! Give us a light! Oh. <laughs> Thanks. They gave actually gave us something. <gasps> yes, does that work? What the hell is this fucking place? Manchurian gold. It has to have something to do with the Manchurian gold. We're not far from those coordinates. Maybe this is the ship that was carrying the gold. Guess it's a possibility. Oh, is that what's in the crates? It's cursed gold. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Let's get back to our boat, get the hell away from here, and never step foot off dry land again. How's that for a plan? I saw one of the goons take something out of the boat. Distributor cap. Makes the engine work. The Duke of Milan is a floating brick without it. Hmm. We need to get it back. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of... Just apologize, dude. ...prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I... I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. So, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm. Hmm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. <laughs> cool. Cool. Okay. Let me check what's on the table. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Hard to see the depth sometimes. I wonder why they all left it behind. American Overseas Gangland. Killing of 1947. Archaeologists missing in Iraq. 24 British archaeologists have gone missing in the Zagros Mountains of Iraq. Hodgson expedition arrived in the kingdom in September last year with the stated goal of unearthing the... Oh, I can almost read it on the newspaper. A hole! Huh. Nice. Hey, look! Look at this! You can get through here. Wait, 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 let me quickly check around the room. Fuck. 
that wasn't anything. What do you think this ship was? Hi, baby doll. I miss you like crazy. Three months until my next leave and jumping into your arms. Three months. I've been on sh some shore leave with the guys, had a few beers. But don't worry, I'm keeping everything ready for you if you catch my drift. How's work? I hope that boss of yours is leaving you alone. I know you can take care of yourself, but I feel helpless being so far away and I want to keep you safe. This guy, Miller? That seemed pretty spooky. I get a lot of time to think while I'm guarding the cargo holds. It's dark and spooky down there. Some of the other guys have seen a figure roaming around, but I've always got you with me to keep me safe too. I will be with you soon and get a job as a mechanic and we can get married and have two children. We'll be happy together forever. We saw Miller's clothes on the bed. Glasses. This is very strange. Why? Anything here? We need something to open the thing with, right? What do you think? Can't get it open. Over here. Over here. Predator. I love how even in a hostage situation, the blonde girl had the time to tie her shirt. Here. Um, this is the way out. Yeah, this is the way out. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Sure, I agree. Fliss, wanna do the honors? Sure, what kind of distraction? Oh, whoops. Barricade, for sure. Can I pull can I push that at all? Can I get some help with this? Oh god. Doesn't the door open the other way? <laughs> Let's go. You got this? He's gonna find the hole immediately. Go, 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 dude! Are we safe now? Stay quiet. We need to keep going. Nice. Come on. That's perfect. There's gotta be some stairs around here. Whew, okay. Extra guard duty regulations. Due to the special security precautions on this mission, additional procedures must be adopted by soldiers. Double guard, no talking, no games, smoking. Found breaking any of these regulations will be met with the sternest of punishments. Wait, what was the last bit? I missed it. Nobody is allowed in 3A. Seriously, nobody. 3A. Gotta remember that. I think 3A is certain death. Oh my god, I can look everywhere. Come on, check that. 
There's gonna be rats in there. Huh. Jeez. Maybe this is what scared everyone off. <laughs> Dirty clothes? <laughs> There's the rats. <laughs> Called it. Nothing? Hmm. It's a good hiding place. Can I not get go through here? I guess I have to go the other way around. There was nothing in that room. It's just so weird that they all just vanished. It's like they were just snapped up right in the middle of whatever they were doing. It's not possible, right? Right. Out of bounds? The cargo hold too. That's where they were keeping the coins, right? Or the boxes with the skulls on it. The smoky boxes. <laughs> Jesus fuck. Why? Why? What are you doing to me? Can I talk to you? My lovely lady? I don't like this camera angle. Oh my god. Uh. Uh. What the fuck? Dude, did you just fucking see that? Oh no, it's time to start hallucinating. The fuck? That dude. Dear Ailes, I'm finally coming home. This is it, darling. One last trip across the Pacific and I'll be back to you and the girls. I can't wait to see your faces. Tell Ned and Nancy to get excited. They're gonna see Daddy real soon and he's got gifts for y'all. I'm sure glad to be back at sea. Hotter than an Oklahoma summer out here on land. And there's no escape from it. I've been alright because I got your letters to keep me going. They censor them, which is probably for the best because sometimes the others steal them to read and I don't like them reading our letters. I know it really creeps me out. He keeps telling me there's a little boy on board and it sounds like Ted. I know he's just messing with me. There ain't no way he got a stowaway. Our cop got our ops guys are far too slick now the war is over. I bet they'll edit this bit out, but it shows what a place can do to a guy. Gotta go for now, honey. There's some commotion outside. That's usually that usually means I'm going to be real busy for a while. I'll write you again soon. Jesus, what's next? Did you write it while shitting? Cause it's in the toilet. God, what a fucking horrible angle. It's so creepy. Anything here? Nothing? Okay. Whew, stress. Let's go. You think Conrad's made it? He can be pretty resourceful when he puts his mind to it. That's not really an answer. Well, then, sure. I think Conrad's made it. Oh, great. <laughs> God, I really hope he's not dead. Where's this place? It's the engine room. Well, is there anything we can use down here? No. This is just an old piece of junk. The Duke has a newer engine. We're just gonna have to get the gap back. What's this? Read it. Nothing? Ah. June 19. Identified, pro identified problem areas of structural brittleness, cracks in some sections, Const instructed shipwright to carry out the necessary welding repairs. Cross removal could cause the ship to break its back. Respond to a com complaint that some electronic equipment has been malfunct malfunctioning. Cleaned and added lead to those soldiers. Soldiers slow down the growth. Okay. Oh! There was an R. I could go through it. Fuck. Grab it. Oh no, did I- oh! I was like, oh no, did I miss my chance? But I'm still good. Okay, read these. Wait, wait, let's go earlier first. 
Let's see if we can go earlier. Okay, it's nothing to the left, so let's go to the right. Electrical storm. Conducted a Jesus. thorough weekly engine room problems with that an electrical storm. inspection of fuel, oil, and fluids, which showed lower levels of cylinder oil than expected. Alert an engineer. Ship was caught in a heavy electrical storm, which began shortly after midnight. Uh, lightning strikes caused a lot of electrical arcing. Ars yeah, arcing, I think. Traveling through hoist hoisting cables. Received reports that the main problem problems caused by the storm are with electrical equipment at the moment. It's likely the tin whiskers haven't helped mass matters. Despite the rough sea, there have been no reports of any structural damage. Okay. Nothing else? Just four pages? <coughs> yep, that's it. Okay. Can I go this way? No. <laughs> he just stands there. You think Brad is still on the Duke? I hope so. It's driving me crazy not knowing what's going on with him. Wait, wait, wait. I hope he's okay. There. We have to just stay positive. Wait, I clicked on it. Yeah. What is it? Little skull? Rat skull. <laughs> what? God. Keep it together. Yeah. Is, is it still affecting people that get on this ship? There's another book. A lot of reading to do here. Let's go left first. No, the other way. Can't go the other way. Okay. Thursday 12th. The skipper has KO'd the booze for this whole Gotham trip. There's nothing like being sober that makes you realize just how quiet this ship is. There was a fight between those dumb schmucks, Wilson and Anderson, right after we sailed, but Ferris nipped that in the bud real quick, and it's been quiet as a church ever since. Got talking with a feller who had helped load up the ship, he told me they put a bunch of coffins on board. Which isn't so weird, maybe, but he said there was some guy who made sure the coffins were all put in one of the holds just right. Real precise. Got me thinking, who could it be in those boxes? Booze was a bum loss, Perez said he fell drunk after four cups, but I said he was talking baloney. It was like ditch water. Perez said they made some hooch from some supplies they lifted. Meeting up later on six to check it out. Just heard one of the guys here snuck a look at the boxes, gonna find go find him and see what he saw. Maybe he can even help me get in to take a look. All set, he reckons he can sneak me in. We're gonna take a look tonight. Next day. It's all off. The guy who was gonna help me get in the hold has been signing, signed off sick. Doc Finley thinks he's some kind of flake, which might be true, but Miller says it's something else. Something weird about that place. Miller's kind of a twitcher. Wouldn't want to be caught in the pinch with him. Press that- maybe he's patient zero. Press that that the boys made more hooch. Too bummed out to sneak and try some. New batch is worse than the last. Last night I was on duty with Wallowick Wallowicks? And goddamn if he didn't creep me out. He got spooked and started babbling about some sergeant called Jones that went MIA in the jungle. Reckoned that Jones and his crew were the ones in the boxes traveling home just like us saps. Sneaked a look and Jesus, there it was, just like the guy in the port had said. All laid out, real nice, old glory over each one. If it's Jones in there and they've, they've done him proud. Good old Uncle Sam wouldn't leave any of us out there. He makes sure we all come home. Huh. Okay. I don't know if there's a setting for the letter boxes. Who are suspiciously nowhere to be found. I wonder where everyone went. But maybe everyone's hiding in the hole. I'll for leave a big it like this. Party. So I block less with my camera. My face. Oof. We're gonna get caught by them. <sighs> of course. Yeah. 
He's like, you sure? You wanna? You want me to go through this door? <laughs> you sure, man? You want me to like take a right here? I'm not so sure about this. Okay, here we are. Turn off your flashlight, dude. Shh. Everyone quiet. Good. He's smart. Oh, there it is. He just puts it down so that he knows that we're gonna try and get close to it. It's a trap. I'm gonna go get it. All right, grab it then, hurry. Well, I don't need you barking orders, big guy. God damn. This lady's fucking awesome. Holy crap. Okay, give me the cuties. Hide. She knows they're there. See, she knows what's going on. Come here. The fuck? Why'd you go for it like that? No, please. Where are the she saw. She saw, him, didn't she? Arrête de crier. J'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. Okay. Okay, good, I guess. What are we doing? I thought we were following them. We gotta keep our distance. This way we can get ahead of them. I got this. <sighs> Whatever you say, bro. Whoa, what's here? It's a whole corner here. Eternal memorandum. Oh, good God. Why do I need to see this now? Area 7C has been converted to a temporary chapel of rest of the duration of the voyage. All crew are required to be silent and respectful when passing C7, 7C. Okay. So awkward walking through here. Forgot until dawn was that awkward because you kind of just know after a couple playthroughs like what the walk paths are, so it feels less awkward because you know exactly where you can go. But for this game, I have no idea, and I'm trying to like explore, but I just get stuck everywhere. <laughs> Starting to hallucinate a little bit already. Even the bad guys. Maybe there's something to the camera. No, 
he just stops. Wait a minute. We've been here before. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, Have we? Where we've been here before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? We have not been here before. Is that still usable? Not really. I mean... Hey, easy with that. We shouldn't be screwing around right now. Uh, yeah, not a good idea, I guess. Uh, maybe it's not such a good idea to start getting into knife fights. I don't want to accidentally want stab the wrong person. That's like my biggest concern. Like, I don't understand how people can be okay ha owning a firearm. Because like, in my head, the first thing, the biggest worry I would ever have having a gun is to accidentally shoot someone, the wrong person. That you think someone's breaking in, but it's just someone trying to surprise you or something, and then you so just shoot sure, them. Mademoiselle? As if you know your way around a kitchen. Hey babe, once we settle down, I will be your personal chef de cuisine. He's making jokes. These are like life's threatening situations, dude. Beef casserole. Hey, according to this, today is beef casserole. Mm, yummy. It's as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. The whole ship just stopped functioning. Hmm. All right, what is this place? I'm thinking we gotta go through here. What was that? What was that? I, didn't hear I definitely heard something. Whose notebook is this? Read it. We haven't been at sea long and I'm sick of the damn food already. That muck we ate tonight was a joke. The cooks do their best with what we've got, I'm sure, but man, I'd kill for something fresh. Tall glass of cold milk. Every one of the US papers was talking about that massacre in Philly. Crazy to think how we're out here traveling the world trying to keep our country safe. And there's people killing each other in the streets back home. I'm sure I sure could use a beer after reading about home, but the captain has issued a ban on booze. Guess I'll be counting sheep tonight. Oh <gasps> I did it again. Fuck. I just wanted to back up from the text, but not the whole notebook. Sorry. Bear with me. I'll get through this book eventually. June 20. Some of the guys had a little wrestling competition one of the cargo holds today. I did okay. Knocked me out. Joked he could be disqualified on account of his size but no dice. He certainly ain't eating the same as the rest of us, that's for sure. Ah. Uh. I'm sure the cargo we have in hold has something to do with the squat that went missing. Their leader, Jones, heard a legend about a room full of ancient solid gold statues from a Manchurian child emperor. Ah, oh, so that's what's in the boxes. And it is Jones and his soldiers that were going to retrieve it that were in the coffins. Sounds like a load of baloney. Don't know if they found them, but they never did return from their mission. Maybe they're returning now. Okay, that's it. It's amazing how everyone only writes four pages in every book. <laughs> oh, back there! I see it! Yeah, the whole smoke still... This isn't right. What? I need to be back there. Brad gets stabbed. Oh, I don't have a knife on me right now, so... I don't think anyone should have weapons. Let's not stab ghosts, okay? Deal? Ah! What? What? There's something in here with us! Did, didn't you... I mean... Did you hear anything? 
I know I saw something. It was moving in the shadows. Probably just rats. Rats. Probably just rats. Probably just hallucinations. You're rats. fine, babe. Don't fucking laugh at me. Okay. That makes an hour, so I'm gonna cut it here and because now we're like in the middle of gameplay stuff, so it's a good play good place to pause. Um and we'll be back with another hour tomorrow. So I hope you guys like it and see you then. Thank you so much. Bye!